We are at the 2025 Paris Air Show on the booth of the French Ministry of the Armed Forces. They are showcasing for the very first time uh, this uh, land launcher for the LCM, the new land cruise missile, uh, MBDA. And to find out all about it, I am meeting again with uh, Pierre-Marie Bello, business line owner for Deep Strike Weapons at uh, MBDA. Pierre-Marie, good to see you again. Thanks for your time to answer a few of uh, a few of my questions on this. So, what is uh, this? What is is this uh, program? And can you tell us more? So, with the uh, return of high intensity warfare, there is more and more demand for ground launch deep strike capability, which give a permanent threat, which is well adapted to to, to what we are facing today. So, the global idea of uh, the LCM, this is to reuse the existing missile. Uh, NCM, which is currently fired from submarines or from frigates, and which, by the way, is combat proven, etc. It's an extremely reliable product. And to fit it on a truck, so with a, um, a ramp launch, uh, launcher with four missiles. So uh, it's a very simple idea. It presents the interest to be very to be at, at no technical risk, frankly speaking, and to uh, give us the possibility to offer a solution to the market very, very quickly. So, interest of the product, quick on the market. Interest of the product, this is the capability of the NCM. So, capability to penetrate the enemy air defense, arriving on the target from different azimuts, different trajectories, etc. So it's extremely versatile. And um, it gives, of course, all the capability to select the, uh, the target. And last, and this is something always essential for strike capability, it presents an exceptional couple between lethality and terminal precision. And this is a couple which is absolutely essential to make efficient strike. So we are there. Pierre-Marie, that makes me think of a system in the US and used by the US Army called the Typhoon or mid-range capability where they use a Mark 41 launcher to launch Tomahawk from uh, trucks as well. Uh, is this similar? Do you use the silver vertical launch system which is used on French frigates? So no, we are not using the silver simply because we want to make the thing simple and because the booster of the uh, uh, current LCM is compatible with a ramp launch version. So it allows to have a light vehicle, well lighter vehicle, and it gives again much more reliability, it removes again any risk to the development and at the end of the day it's more simple and more performant. Pierre-Marie, what is the approximate uh, range for the LCM? So of course the range is classified, this is a classified information. Nevertheless, and this is an information that was not revealed before, so it's new, we are now allowed to say that the range is in excess of 1,000 kilometers. So we are speaking about very, very long range, and this is what is required for ground launch deep strike. If I can add something on this, uh, on all deep strike products, you always have four uh, I would say I call that basic cardinal performance and it's important to find the good trade-off between these four. You've got the range, you've got the survivability, you've got the lethality associated with the precision and you've got the cost of emission. So to make a good product you need to find the right trade-off between these four basic parameters. Then you have many other things to do of course. There we are in, the pre we are in presence of an exceptional product because we have the good trade-off everywhere with an exceptional range for this type of products. Very well, thank you. My pleasure. We are now meeting with uh, Major Guillaume, uh, Program Director for NCM or MDCN in French at the French Defense Procurement Agency, DGA, uh, for an update on this program. Uh, Guillaume, uh, what is the current status of this project? Okay, so uh, as far as the DGA is concerned, uh, this uh, LCM project, the Land Cruise Missile Project, is not a project, is under development at DGA facilities. And DGA, uh, in this context, is currently um, Mm, supporting MBDA uh, technically in uh, preparing and helping MBDA to prepare a firing, a first firing demonstration in 2028 at DGR uh, uh, missile uh, test range facilities.
very well. So uh, this will uh, progress uh, gradually, uh, maybe into a program depending on funding, depending on the results of that test firing. Yeah, exactly correct. There's a, a great, great link between the LCM development and the current uh, NCM project. That's why we are supporting this uh, development. Very well, Major. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.